I'm with now Adam Frost, garden designer. Now I've known you a long, long time, Adam. Do you know what, Ken? My little head's going and I'm thinking Association of Professional Landscapers, 90s? Must be. Yeah, yeah. And I always remember trying to get you to either be chairman or something and you said, I'll get it in the neck from her at home. And um, you did, I think. I did, and eventually I became chairman, and then I ended up on the board for the Horticultural Trades Association. So yeah, it's yep. literally. I did push oh, you a lot, then. Yeah, you did, you did. But lucky enough, I think what it was is, is Mrs. Frost quite like you. Oh, I see. So, so there was, winner, yeah, because she came to some of those early meetings when yeah. we were doing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's a good one. Yeah, definitely. And now, um, I was going to say, you're a bit of a star now because you've gone from designing to being on the TV. And they tell me that you're, star, you're a star, no, sorry, a celebrity when yeah, you're on the you, television. You, you know what you're doing. I, I literally don't like any of that. I, I don't get me wrong. I like it. It's been, a mer it's been an amazing journey that I've been on, mate. And to be, I don't know, now walking on somewhere like Chelsea, walking on to other people's gardens and being called a so-called expert and, and talking about their gardens and having the reaction I've had from the public has been, yeah, you know me. You know I'm a lad that likes to sit quietly in a pub, have a pint, cares about gardening, cares about his industry. Um, yeah, it's been a bizarre sort of journey. journey. Yeah. It's a journey. Because yeah, you used the landscape as well. You had, I mean, oh, you, yeah. you had the landscape business as well. Yes, yeah, so if you go right back, so 1996, Jeff Hamilton passed away. I was working for him then. And then literally, um, I set up a landscape business. Um, yeah, me, the van, my redundancy bought the most beautiful cement mixer that, that for 18 months looked near perfect. Um, and then I took on an apprenticeship and then slowly built up to what, employing 20 odd people, I think. Too many to Too say. many. Too many. Yeah, too many. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, wow. And now design only. Really. And now design, yeah, it was interesting. I, th I think going back, if I'm really honest, because I trained in design when I was with Jeff, I just didn't think that I sat. I didn't fit the design world. I didn't fit that mould, I suppose. That's that's in reality. No, you're not so. being sarcastic about those designers, are you? Because we'll be in trouble. No, 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 I'm not. I just don't, you know, working class kid from, I just didn't see how anybody was going to employ me. I mean, things have changed, haven't they? It's, Dramatically. It's, you know, I mean, even here, we're here at Chelsea Flower Shop. This is a different place to what it was 20 years ago. Yeah, I can, I'm a little older than you, but we yeah. won't go there for that one. Yeah. But. I can remember when they used to wear the ladies all wore gloves, all wore white yeah. gloves when they came to Chelsea Flower Show. Now you, that's a rarity today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, they, I think there might be one lady that turns up with a pair of white gloves. Yeah, and she's quite important. And she's, you know, she can't have a load of germs all over her no, hands, can no. she? Um, but yeah, no, you're right. And times have changed, and um, it's interesting. I, I've just done um, an interview on the, the Mango Nine Garden, which is all about social injustice, racial injustice, and environmental injustice. And, and Tation and Danny that have done that have literally brought that subject to Chelsea. And I'm not sure that would have happened 20 years it ago. It wouldn't, so no, wouldn't. So that's totally great. different place. Which, yeah. But then life has to move on, as you just said. And how important, you know, okay, I've been coming, as you have, to Chelsea for a long time. Yeah. How important do you think Chelsea is to the gardening public i'm not talking about necessarily the people that actually turn up but the gardening public at large i i think it it wakes people up doesn't it it's the first it's the first major major all right we have malvern you know a couple of weeks before which i think you're really keen gardeners engage with but i think the people that maybe you know more seasonal based or love a little bit of it but not over this this literally 14 odd hours of television you know, you go home after this and, and people have really woken up to their garden. So I think for those people, it just really kicks, which means for the industry, it kicks the season off, doesn't it? I mean, you go in the, you know, go in the oh, market and Fantastic. look at the, look at the, I mean, we're not allowed, I think it's now a pavilion, mate, or whatever it is, but. Um, it's not held up by bits of wood No, anymore. it's not, is it? Um, and actually go in there and, and for the guys in there, it, 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 it kicks off their season, you know, they, they know if they have a good Chelsea, the rest of it's going to roll and, and I think over the last couple of years with the lockdown missing Chelsea I know we came back in September but now this feels like it's a major celebration of what what the, you know what the gardening industry's got to offer 